footprint, we have over 7,000 stores, Sam's Clubs, and distribution centers globally. That's a huge footprint. But again, only about 8% of our impact is our own footprint. We also have over 60,000 suppliers. A large portion of our footprint is there. 176 million customers every week go through Walmart. I like to do this. So how many of you have shopped at Walmart in the last six months? All right, so that's part of the 176. How many, how many have shopped there in the last month? All right, I heard someone every day. How about in the last week? Every day? How many of you shop there every day? Wow, all right. <laughs> so, so you all make a difference, and we're, we are now starting to talk about environmental sustainability to our customers, making it affordable and accessible to all Americans, not just Americans that live in Washington, D.C., in Manhattan, in San Francisco. All Americans deserve affordable and accessible environmental products. And then our associates. I'm going to talk a little bit about our associates. Is there anyone here that works for Walmart? One consultant. Anyone that knows someone that works for Walmart? All right. We have roughly 2 million associates worldwide. Uh, we're estimated to be the largest private employer in the world with only the U.S. government bigger employer than us. So how do we do sustainability at Walmart? Again, it could never be done just by Lee Scott. It could never just be done by the small team of us who have sustainability in our title. It has to be embedded in the business. And the way that we've done this is we've created what we call sustainable value networks. There are 13 of them. And they roughly roll up out of those three big goals I told you about. So we have networks of people working on greenhouse gases, sustainable buildings, Global logistics means our trucking fleet. We have 8,500 trucks. You've probably seen them out on the road. They're actually really cool. If you like technology, we can have another conversation about what we're doing with our trucks because it's really cool. Um, we've got an alternative fuels team. Um, we've got a waste team, packaging, and then a number of networks that are working on our products. So networks working on textiles. That means clothing. What kind of organic clothing can we do? Um, what kind of other alternatives, like outside of organic cotton, what kind of other environmental sustainable um, alternatives are there? Wood and paper, you have no idea how many products have wood or paper in them. Even beyond just your paper and your furniture, how about the wooden ha uh, handle on your hammer? I mean, wood and paper is everywhere. So we really needed to get down into the business. And this is where you can start thinking about jobs. Almost any job you could have Certainly at Walmart, in fact, every job at Walmart has this environmental sustainability component to it. And there's been a lot of conversation here today about um, inspiration and, and motivation. And at most, it's certainly at the three big companies that are here today, but at most big companies, if you are motivated and creative, creative and if you come in, you can work your way up. So I'm going to go into a little bit more detail today on two of the networks to just give you a little bit more flavor on how this works and what it actually looks like to have a job in Walmart that, that touches in one of these spaces. I'm going to talk a little bit about sustainable buildings and a little bit about our waste network. So our sustainable buildings network has, has several goals. Um, one of the biggest goals is to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions at all of our existing stores, Sam's Clubs, and distribution centers by 20% by 2012. That's a huge goal. Um, additionally, we were talking earlier about prototypes. Um, actually, by the end of next year, and we've, we've already exceeded this, actually, to build a viable prototype that's nearly 30% more efficient than our old prototype with 30% fewer greenhouse gas emissions. So what does that mean? This is really driven by technology. 